There's nowhere you can hide, Spartan. Put as much distance between you and the truth as you want. It changes nothing. Pretend to be everything you are not. Teacher. Husband. Father. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. <laughs> you cannot change. You will always be a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. I never really played any of the original God of War games released in the 2000s, to be honest, mostly due to my age. But from what I have saw, the games actually uh, did look really uh, good for its time. Um, of course, uh, not saying that they've aged poorly or anything, but overall, the God of War games released prior to 2018 really seemed more likely to cater towards teenagers and young adults as the games were mostly grotesque and fun with an emphasis on gameplay features such as combinations. So, my opinion on the God of War franchise is really interesting because I never played the original games, I never played the old PS2 versions, the PS3 versions. I only managed to play, to start playing the first, well, the re the do over one uh, in twenty twenty two when I managed to somehow get my hands on a PlayStation Five during the shortage. As soon as I bought the console, I went over to one of the second hand game shops and I just picked up a bunch of old PlayStation exclusives that I've never been able to play before. And God of War obviously being one of the first ones, because that's the ones that I've heard the most praise over, that and The Last of Us. It, it took me around, I think, three months to finish it, because I was... Well, I've never, I'd never have a PlayStation up at that point, and I was busy playing other games like Detroit Become Human, um, Predators, Hunting Grounds, and a um, few others. But when I did finally end up finishing it, I was just amazed at the absolute storytelling of the entire of the entire game, having to both adhere to old players and obviously returning players. So that was really, really interesting to see. And when God of War Ragnarok was announced, I had pre-order it because I just enjoyed the first one that much. When it came for Ragnarok to start, I got it same the day it came out, and I managed to finish that one in like two days. So it was really, really fun to play and to just My opinion on the God of War franchise, as a game, it has a really good storyline in terms of it has entwined two different mythologies together. As a franchise, they really de developed and evolved each storyline with each different game, especially as the uh, technology evolves with each different year. I think God of War is a franchise that has matured with its audience. There isn't as much uh, unnecessary violence, if you will, in a lot of games, um, or the most recent games, rather than the more original ones that uh, really catered towards the more violent aspects of the God of War. Franchise. I think the core similarity between the entire franchise is that they were made for the audience of their time. Who knows, in a decade you might think that the most recent installments of the God of War franchise might be completely outdated. So Lots of success, I'll your opinion. I think the God of War franchise is so successful on how they've incorporated Greek mythology with Norse mythology, especially with 
the new God of War game that they brought out in 2018 for the PlayStation 4. From what I've seen from the originals, I think it was both a mixture of seeing to mythologies, albeit a little bit inaccurate, but also the gore and just really tragic storytelling with Kratos having to kill his wife and daughter in a bloodlust caused by Ares. And that it also gets somewhat repeated during God of War 2016 or 2018 or whatever year that one came out with Kratos also killing Baldur. But it was it was really interesting to it's it's just like showing off these different stories and different fables from different mythologies. Which I think what really kicked off in the first place. Of course you can talk about graphics too. It is a graphically impressive franchise, arguably one of the most graphically impressive franchises from how they have pushed engines to their limits. They even had to design a new engine for God of War 2018, which was a clear-cut amazing decision by Santa Monica Studios as the graphics were definitely one of the key focal points of people's discussions surrounding why God of War 2018 worked so well. Now how does this link to how gaming culture has changed, you may be wondering. Well, I think God of War is a prime example of how gaming culture has changed because of the graphics. With the older versions of the game, you can see that the graphics is lacking because the technology hasn't really evolved. But with the newer games, you can see that the graphics are more developed and evolved because Technology has evolved between the time that they brought out the old versions of the game to the time that they brought out the new versions of the game. How what I've seen from the old older ones, it was a lot less story related and a lot more focused on the blood, the gold. I think Santa Monica Studios will always be a company that can adapt to their own time. Look at God of War, God of War Ragnarok as examples and the amount of success they've had, man. That's like crazy to think about. Like the most recent installment, God of War Ragnarok, being the most successful game of the franchise, easily as it sold 11 million copies at the Gaming Awards, which include the following Game of the Year, Best Game Direction, Best Narrative, Best Score on Music. Best audio design, best performance, best action adventure game, and innovation and accessibility. Out of these contentions, God of War Ragnarok won best narrative, best score music, best audio design, best performance, best action adventure game, and innovation and accessibility. The main category God of War Ragnarok had to contend with was Game of the Year, which it lost. However, it got the most rewards than the game that won Game of the Year, which was Elden Ring. Although their previous game won Game of the Year um, in 2018, uh, Santa Monica Studios' as Norse installments of the God of War franchise were very successful and showed that story-driven games can work to fantastic effect as they have all the momentum they need to create a phenomenal God of War game with lots of potential possibilities in the mythology they can create and how they can develop their story. Overall, uh, gaming culture is something that went from being a nerdy activity for degenerate to a globally accepted industry with tons of different rooms to even make a living from it. And with that, that is how God of War has advanced throughout the digital age as a franchise, as a whole, throughout each individual game and again as a series. As an unstoppable being that does not seem to be slowing down any time soon, nor in the future.